Okay. So, I am just leaving orientation. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because before my orientation, I know that I'm probably not the only person who has done this. But, um... I researched a lot to see how orientation would be, how it would be on the floor, and so first let me just give you an introduction. My name is Brianna Calico, um, I'm a patient care technician, and this isn't my first patient care technician job. I'm 23, uh, my first patient care technician job was when I was 19, but as anybody who knows, you know, throughout the time, throughout years, policy changes, things change and everything. So I'm just going to give you a little information on what a patient care technician does, what our responsibilities are in the hospital, and different things like that. So as you can see, I, clearly you can see my badge. I work at Methodist. I'm not going to say which Methodist I work at, but I work at Methodist, which is in, you know, Texas. So um, I work on the cardiology floor, and pretty much my what I'm supposed to do and what's recommended of me to do during my job is to take vital signs, do blood sugars, you know, help with INOs, making sure that they're ambulating, you know, if they just had surgery, walk them around, you know, if they're a total patient, make sure that I'm turning them. And also, which is new to me, is phlebotomy. Most hospital jobs, they have lab technicians, but in certain hospitals within Methodist, they don't hire lab technicians or phlebotomists. They actually just cross-train if you aren't already cross-trained in phlebotomy they train you at the hospital so um pretty much that's what we do and then any other necessary needs like stocking um checking crash cards different things like that now within orientation um this is my fourth day normally it's a five-day orientation but um first day they just do hospital policies benefits mm. Yeah, hospital policy benefits that go over bloodborne pathogens. Um, am I forgetting anything? They kind of go through a, line, a long line of stuff. They told us about the chaplains, what they do, um, you know, the different things that are involved with um, the hospital. And, you know, that's normally about eight hours. And then we get like two breaks in between. And they give us lunch and breakfast on the first day. So with the hospital that I'm at, um, after your first day, you know, if you're non-clinical, you go to the hospital that you originated with. With Methodist, it's four different branches of hospitals, but then they have urgent cares, clinics, different things like that. So um, if you're clinical, then you have to go through clinical orientation. So with PCTs, they break they break off nurses and PCTs within the fir this first day of clinical orientation. So Tuesday was my clinical orientation. And all that we went over was EPIC. EPIC is the system that we use. And then after we did EPIC, um, we did just pretty much how to count intake. And then they give us like different parts of our badges just to let us know what to do. And then um, after that day, which was pretty long, it shouldn't have been that long, but... I've used Epic at the previous hospitals that I worked at, and some people were really brand new. Some some PCTs are actually just straight from PCT school. With me, by the grace of God, I didn't go to PCT. I got my CNA license, and just with the experience that I've had before is the reason why I'm in the position I am now. Um, the third day, we did um, skills. So nurses, they're still doing their thing, and then PCTs that um, need their skill assessments, they do it. So with skills assessments, they taught us how to take out Foley catheters, how to do hand washing, you know, the protocol for hand washing, how to enter the room, how to talk to the patients, how to change a patient. It's a beat. 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 It's so, <laughs> oh, what's I talking about? Yeah, skills assessments. So we went over there. First, she showed us we we did um, like hands on. Then after we did hands on, we had a comp. And then if we passed the comp, she was like yay or nay. Skills assessment takes normally like three and a half hours. Then we took our hour break. Then after hour break, we had to go through a four hour phlebotomy class or phlebotomy course. With this, it was kind of cool. And, you know, just 
told us the different type of needles we use, you know, butterfly, vacutainers, you know, how to do blood cultures, the, you know, the different type of tu uh, tubes and how you place the tubes in order. And then they gave us this little cool, you know, badge thing that we wear so that we won't forget how to do our order of draw. Then um, we got to practice on some dummy arms. And technically, we're not going to get our actual hands on with sticking but I've been a phlebotomist before so I kind of already knew what to do but it was good to actually know the technical things and how to do it you know how to place it you know it has to be at a 15 to 30 degree angle just different things like that and then we did um, our comp in front of the class you know how to stick what tools you need whatever you know what every special tool that you have which is like the tourniquet the two by two gauze the band-aid alcohol prep chlor prep you know the butterfly needle if you need the hubs and everything and where you can find it and then you know we did our um certification and then we got our certification within the hospital since the hospital that I work at is an educational program it actually gave us our state certification not all hospitals do this but just because the hospital I work at is an educational center it's considered you know like state board so once we passed our test and everything um, the day was over so today was my fourth day and then we just came back and kind of went over like um what is, I don't forgot what they call it. It's like the national protocol. I'm probably claiming it wrong or saying it wrong. Forgive me if I am, but it's just um, how to, you know, verify the patient and different things like that. And, you know, how to use gate belts, how to use restraints. And then, you know, you have to go through that little boring section where you have to do all the modules. And so um, Tuesday and Yesterday, we kind of, I kind of did a majority of all my modules, which were, you know, kind of just common sense, how to sit in the room, how to, you know, sit with a patient that's on restraints, how to change a person, you know, you know, taught us about elopement, different things like that, you know, the armbands that they use at hospitals. And I sadly, um, I am a person who wears jewelry. But sadly, if anyone knows, if you wear rings, if you wear bracelets or anything that can puncture gloves, you can't really wear them because it's not really safe. And it's not that it's not sterile or safe. It's just if I'm in the middle of doing, um, let's say I'm in the middle of taking out somebody's foley and my ring rubs up against the glove the wrong way, it has to be sterile because you don't want to cause them to get an infection. So I was kind of sad about that, but... Um, today was my day and I only, I got there at eight and I clocked out at 11 and now it's like 11, it's 11.31 probably now. So today was like a really quick day. Then I went up to my, um, floor, which is at the hospital we were training at, got to talk to my manager and she gave me my schedule for my next upcoming week. So I'll be in training for the next two weeks. And if anybody knows at a hospital, you know, there's normally 12 hour shifts. I have night shifts, so I actually get like a three days, three and a half days off. Then I start my night shifts on Monday. So um, I just wanted to post this video or make this video because I know that there's a lot of people out there that's like me. And if not, don't make me feel weird for being the only weirdo. But this is pretty much how the orientation went with being a PCT, the different things that a PCT does and, you know, just different things like that. And what I learned about being a PCT at night shift, night shift PCTs do most of the sample collections. We do most of the phlebotomy work at four o'clock in the morning, which I know if anybody's watching this video, if you so happen to be a patient at the hospital, probably going to hate me because I have to come in the room at four o'clock in the morning to take your blood samples. But, you know, it's kind of cool and it's getting, it's really helping. And most people, you know, who are PCTs are trying to become nurses. And it's a really good opportunity, I promise, because not saying that just because you have experience in the hospital, you're going to get the job as a nurse. But I promise you, if they see some type of medical back background, it'll peep or not peep. It'll peak their interest into you 
a little bit more than someone who doesn't have experience. Because what I would say about being a patient care technician, because I'm actually in nursing school, I forgot to let you guys know this, but one of the good things about being a PCT and working at a hospital and getting experience is, as if you just go to school to be a nurse, you really don't know firsthand, you know, how to talk to the patients, how to do everything. With the experience that you get at working in a hospital, as a PCT, you get to actually, once you do become a nurse, how to respect the PCT and what they do and what they do. I'm so sorry. If I'm speaking too fast, I apologize. I'm just really excited. I just pulled back up to the house and I wanted to do this in a quiet environment before I go in the house and it get kind of hectic. But, um... It's a really good, it's a really good, it's it's a really good, <laughs> it's really good to get your experience while you're in school so that once you become a nurse, you know, you'll see how it feels. You'll kind of be already in the motion where you won't see, where you won't seem too brand new. But um, if you guys have any questions or anything, I will be posting videos in the future of what's going on and how my journey is in nursing school, my journey working here at the hospital and different things like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Bye-bye.